Today's video, we are shooting some Corvus coffee. This is one of their exotic series coffees. And the whole goal, I wanted to just kind of bring you guys behind the scenes to show you exactly how we're gonna shoot this. We're gonna shoot photo and video, a series of like eight to 10 photos, and then one quick Instagram reel or social media video. When it comes to this, you kind of break it down into a few different parts. So we have the setup, which we have some stuff laid out, but we're gonna actually walk you through on how to actually set this up to make it match the brand's vibe. It's like, what's gonna make it look really, really good? When it comes to the gear, today we're gonna be using, like my main camera is gonna be the Sony A1, absolutely phenomenal with photo and video. And we're gonna be switching between a few different lenses. So we have the 90 millimeter macro, 50 millimeter F 1.8. This is like the nifty 50, the first lens you ever buy. 85 millimeter F 1.4, that's pretty much it. Let's kind of start getting set up. Right now. Right now. Oh, let's really put this here. So one thing I always try and pay attention to is like, just trying to match the brand. What is their vibe? What is their vibe on like social media or their website, or whatever it is, trying to match that. So with Corvus, it's very like black and these dark greens. So like it's bringing in these plants and using black background in this real like rustic wood will show really nice and kind of match the vibe of coffee. Okay, so the first part we're gonna do is the photos. And I think with the photos, like the biggest thing with your settings is we wanna stay around at least like 125 to 250 shutter frame. Um, we're gonna keep it at low f-stops because we want just a nice blurry background. So with this, this is the 90 millimeter macro. Uh, we'll throw it in autofocus. If I need to go into manual focus, I will, but We'll also try and keep the ISO low, but for now we're at f2.8. Shutter is gonna be 160, and my ISO is at 1000. Let me make sure that's lined up correct. Sweet. Cool. I like this because it'll just kind of like give another little field of depth in the photo. Just a little kick on that one. So really trying to think about like, do we have something in the foreground um, that'll create more depth because we're in such a small space. So being able to like show the coffee in between certain objects. So we'll use this candle as a foreground or we can use this glass to kind of like blur our subject a little bit on the, on the inside of the frame. Um, could be a really cool way, or even both, could be a cool way to get some depth within the photo. So most of these photos are gonna be portrait mode, uh, so nine by 16. I do a few landscapes, so 16 by nine. For website content, I want them to be able to place some text either in the upper right or the upper left. When it comes to contrast, he could use white lettering, which matches the Corvus on this bag, kind of right hand corner, so we'll shoot that. Give him a few options for kind of hero shots for text. We'll shoot those right now. Now let's do something else interesting on the bag. This is where we need more of a macro lens. You get some of those fine details when we get really close. So that's kind of the first part of the photography side is we'll just kind of set up with the bag before we open it. And then now we'll shoot the video. And then after we're done brewing the coffee, we'll take a few more photos with, you know, pouring the coffee into the glass and just the coffee complete next to the bag. So next let's brew some coffee. 
best part of the day. This is a, a farm that's owned by Marcella. Unfortunately, she passed away um, two years ago, but there's still, her husband is managing it for her and her manager, and they want to keep it in her name. But this is the Wish Wish um, that really blew us away. And we bought a lot of, we bought all of it um, that they produced. This coffee was great, and uh, we're really excited to bring it to you and, and represent um, Marcella and her family and um, one of their most interesting coffees. Okay, I think we're getting close. We're about done with these edits. So just a quick interruption. I am excited to announce that I am a, a Cuts ambassador for 2023. As you guys know or see, have seen in my past videos, like I love working with Cuts. Just a great company, great clothing, and they got some new stuff constantly coming out. So this month, you guys have seen the AO joggers. And if you haven't, you gotta check them out because they're just fantastic. Dress up, dress down, business casual. It's usually what I'm wearing to any photo or video shoot. They're just so comfortable and they look nice. Uh, but they have the new AO pants. So you definitely wanna check these out. Several different colors in the new AO pants. Uh, link down in the description will get you 15% off. Let me know if you have any questions on sizing or whatever. Um, and stay tuned, they got new stuff coming out all the time. So. Okay, now back to the edits. We're pretty much done. We got a few more edits and then we're gonna wrap up this video and talk about a couple more tips. Ready? Mm-hmm. So that's it. Best part about shooting coffee is you get some coffee afterwards. I appreciate you guys being here. Hopefully you guys got some out of this quick, easy way to take some product photography, photos, video at home and uh, have some fun with it. It's just, it's like be creative. Like, subscribe, appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one. All right, so biggest thing, remember to have fun. Just create, have, oh my God, Jesus. One more time. The best part is, Especially when you're shooting coffee, you get some some bomb coffee out of that was stupid. God, Best part about so shooting dumb. coffee is you get to drink some coffee afterwards, which is awesome. That was stupid. Keep doing it.